If anyone is thinking of leaving, don't, because we only have one more comedian. Let's go! Uh, he is, was one of the winners this year of Yale Stand-Up Comedy Contest, Last Comic Standing. Uh, and fittingly, he is our last comic. Please welcome Ryan Bowers. So I, um, I'm, a, I'm a graduating senior, um, so I guess that, that means that like the sad reality is um, for you pre-frosh, um, I guess we're just, we're probably never going to do it. <laughs> and I'm not like happy about it, and, like, and I know that you guys aren't either, and like I came up here and you were like, I would love to do it with you. <laughs> But it's just like it's not gonna happen. It's like it's not realistic. I'm not gonna be here. You're gonna be here. We're gonna be in different places. I don't know you at all. I just don't think. I just don't think it's gonna happen. Just don't get your hopes. It might. But I don't think so. It's weird because like I'll walk around sometimes and people will be like, like Ryan, Ryan, what's it like being like a sex god? <laughs> I get this all the time. <laughs> and I always say the same thing, I just say, you couldn't possibly understand. <laughs> but it's really great. <laughs> um, I'm not, uh, I don't know if you can tell, I'm not a sex guy. I, uh, I, have, I have what I like to think of as like a, like a jello body. Like it's like, like in the, if you keep it entirely still, it's in the right shape for like a fit person's body. <laughs> but if you move it at all, just <laughs> like, like I can't go to the I can't just go to the beach. Going to the beach is like a it's like a thing. Like I have to, I should have to warn people if I'm gonna go because you can't just spring the like <laughs> people have to opt in to my body. <laughs> like there are people there are people who just should not be wearing clothes sometimes. You know, like there there are people you see around and you're like that's a like regard like outside of sexuality it's just like that's a fucking good looking person. Like, if they weren't wearing any clothes, no one would be like, oh, I'll put it in the thing. You'd just be like, oh, yeah. Like, that's, you've earned it. <laughs> Good for you. You do that. But that's not, that's not me. I, um, I do okay with the ladies. Like, don't, like, fact check that. But, like, <laughs> I do all right. I, um, I, uh, I just, I don't know. Like, I get so, I get weird about it. Like, I, I was hooking up with this girl, and, um, she, we were, we were kind of getting heated. And she, she whispered in my ear, she was like, talk dirty to me. <laughs> and like, that should be, that should, seems like a really good thing to hear. And it, like, a part of me was like, yeah, awesome. But then there was a part of me that was like, no. <laughs> like, all I do all the time is tell my brain not to do that. <laughs> like, it's just like, mm, mm, trust me on this one. This is not, cause it's a, it's a very fine line you have to walk to be sexy, like it has to be like a little edgy, like a little out there, but it also has to like not be fucked up. That's <laughs> like, exactly on that line. So she's like, talk dirty to me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I, I start off, I, I'm like, okay, I gotta do it. What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? I, like, I start off going, I wanna do you. <laughs> and I was like, shit, I do you. I was like, I gotta amp this up. And I went, I wanna do you so deep. <laughs> to which she was like, what? <laughs> and then I said, I don't know. <laughs> she said, let's just move on from the dirty talking. I, um, I was hanging up with another girl because for the joke. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> But this one's real. <laughs> this uh, the first one was uh, we'll talk about it. <laughs> but um, but I was I was hooking up with this girl and she put on a playlist, which was which is always a good idea, I think. I think it like takes a little bit of the pressure off. Like part like if things are you know not going so hot, you can be like, Well, this is a great song though. Like <laughs> um, but she put on this playlist and it was like a really cool playlist. It was like a lot of like Simon and Garfunkel and like Van yeah. Morrison, which is like, you know, like, yeah, I'm a hipster. Um, and uh, and uh, she puts on this playlist, and we're we're kind of getting into it. 
and it's going fine until Peace Train by Cat Stevens comes on. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem, really. It's right in the same vein as everything else on the playlist. But it comes on and she just stops. She's like, hey, hey, hey. And I was like, what, what? What's going I was like, did I do anything? Because Peace, it wasn't like, oh, Peace Train's on, something shit's going down. <laughs> It was like, peace strength comes out. She's like, hold on, just a second. And I was like, okay, what's, what's happening? She's like, this just always reminds me of Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes me really sad that he died. <laughs> and like, I think my penis was confused. <laughs> But I don't think it was upset because it was just like it was like seeing like a like a shooting star. It was just like that shit doesn't happen or it shouldn't. Anyway, that's my set. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Ryan. Thank you to all of the people who performed tonight. Thank you, everybody in the audience, for coming out to see us. Uh, if you come to Yale, and you should, uh, you should check out the cucumber. And it's open to everybody. Also the Yale record. Also the Yale record. Right. All right, can you guys turn up the house lights? Yeah, that's the, that's the opposite of what I told you.